gonna add 18 ounces of the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce on top of the chicken. Two tablespoons of vinegar. I'm actually adding two tablespoons of this apple cider vinegar that I have. And then a half a cup of brown sugar. I have just a little bit less brown sugar than half a cup. All right, the next thing is red pepper flakes, but I'm not gonna put that in because most of my family does not like that. So I'm not gonna put that in. We've got school going on on top of getting dinner started. I'm gonna make sure all of this is kind of mixed in together. All right, now we're gonna cook this on low for six hours. The opposite of stop is go. Okay, so what's the opposite of girl? Boy, so you're gonna go from girl to boy. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is a Thursday, May the 5th, um, so we have been getting some schoolwork done today. Holly needs to finish up her math lesson, and Amy's got the back side of her math page. She's done the front side and some of the back she started, but we're taking a break. I need to run a couple of errands real quick, and then we're gonna come back home, get the math lessons finished for the day. Y'all, we are so close to summer break. We're just, we're just holding out. We're almost there. I'm thinking that next Friday, what's next Friday, 13th, is going to be pretty much our last day of school. With that being said though, Holly is going to continue with math throughout the summer. Um, we've kind of took math really slow this year, so she needs to finish that throughout the summer. So that's one thing that she'll continue doing. Of course, I want them to keep up their reading and practice and reading and all that. Bible, of course, those things, but for like main subjects, she's got to finish up math through the summer. So anyway, and I'm super excited because today is the day that we had planned that I am going to go out for a little Mother's Day treat, which is to go get my nails done and to get a pedicure. So I'm going to do that later this afternoon, probably around four o'clock. I'm going to go get that done. These nails have grown out so long and so crazy. So I'm excited <laughs> about getting those done for Mother's Day. So I'm going to do that today. And then you saw this morning where I put barbecue chicken in the crock pot. So that's cooking. So that's going to be done for tonight. We're just going to have some barbecue chicken sliders. I may try to get some pickles while I'm out. I don't know. I would like to have some pickles with that. Maybe chips, something like that. Anyway, we're going to go get this done and come back home and finish up school and let these kids play outside because it is supposed to rain and storm like crazy tomorrow. So I'm going to let them have one more day of sunshine playing outside after their schoolwork's finished up and then I think rain, I think it's rain all day tomorrow. All right, so we are back home and I am going to make some iced coffee real quick. Y'all, I have to say, I am super happy because I have not been to Starbucks in weeks. I do not remember the last time that I went to Starbucks. Um, since I have found this Stoke Cold Brew, I don't know where it's been all my life, but I love it. And I like, when I was out just now, I could have easily went through Starbucks drive through got an iced coffee, but I was like, you know what? I want to go home and fix it because it's so much better to me. And plus, I'm saving, what, like 4 and $5 by not going there? So, anyway, I'm going to make some real quick. The kids are outside doing sidewalk chalk right now um, and picking out a piece of candy, all the candy bowl. We still have all of our Easter candy, so they're picking a piece of candy and doing sidewalk chalk. Still loving my cup, too, by the way. It's a perfect iced coffee cup. So, I'm curious. Do y'all have any Mother's Day plans this weekend? Are y'all doing anything special? Going out of town? What do you have planned for Mother's Day? Because it's Sunday. You're watching this video on Friday. So, Mother's Day is Sunday. Um, I'm not real sure what we're doing. I know Sunday morning we're going to church. And we'll probably go out to eat sometime this weekend. Probably Saturday. I don't know yet. Saturday or Sunday. And usually, Josh and the girls will serve me breakfast in bed either Saturday morning or Sunday morning, which is like one of my favorite things about Mother's Day. It's just so sweet to have homemade cards and breakfast in bed. But anyway, all right, so this is what I got. It's kids' tumblers. Um, it's like the glass mason jars, 
but it comes with the lid and the straw. I'm going to show you the actual cup in a minute. And it's by the company Elk and Friends. I had never heard of them, but they had excellent, excellent reviews on Amazon. So that's why I went with these. So here they are. It came in a set of four. So it's got this pretty like little orange kind of peach color, yellow, purple, and blue. I just love these. And these little things come off so that you can wash them easier. But I like that the kids can like grip them with a good grip and they won't slip out of their hands. It's got the little lid and the straw and it comes with a little straw cleaner too. So I, I think I'm going to really love these. Um, like I said, they had excellent reviews. So that's why I went with these cups. Plus look how cute they are. They are so cute. I needed some good cups for the kids anyway with lids. I invest all kinds of money over the years in cups trying to find the best ones. Um, so hopefully these will be good ones, especially for smoothies. Um, they love smoothies, so this will be perfect little smoothie cups. It also came with lids, I guess in case you don't want to drink it, you can just put the lid on it and put it in the fridge for later. Oh, Amy had an idea about the lids. She was trying to tell me that. What did you think the lids were for? It's a pretty good idea. A cup holder. That's a pretty good idea. All right, so it is a little bit after five now. I actually went ahead and got my nails done. I was able to go do that. I don't think the camera's picking it up, but I just went pretty simple. It's just the, it's called ombre, but it's got like the white tip. It's really pretty. Um, and I was going to do the pedicure too, but y'all, it being close, so close to Mother's Day, they are so crowded in there. I already had to wait like 40 minutes for them to take me back for my nails. And then I was going to have to wait another several minutes before they could even get to my pedicure so I was like you know what I'll just come back when I have another time but I think Kylie's gonna give me a pedicure which is super nice she's really good at painting actually so I think I might get her to paint my toenails for me and I've just got my nails done so anyway I'm gonna run by the grocery store real quick I'm gonna pick up just a few things I want to get some um things in the produce section and I want to get some pickles to go with our sliders tonight and I'm gonna go home get that chicken shredded up and get ready to eat dinner I just talked to Josh he said he would be home probably about another hour or so so by the time I go to the grocery store and get home and shred the chicken everything should be done so anyway anyway I'm gonna do that real quick and head home